Shona Jensen is joining us to help tackle the holiday prep task most of us put off. I do. The deep clean. But it always feels so much better when we finally get it done. I want to get it done. And Shones, I know you're this person because we've talked about this many, many times. We sure have. But, you know, I think it's a lot to tackle a deep clean. Like when you think, oh, I've got to do my whole house all in one day. Now nah, we're not going to do that. Let's do a whole room and only commit like 30 minutes to that. 30 minutes? I'm in for 30 minutes yeah. because the problem, the thing, the reason why I don't start is because I feel like I've got to dedicate the whole Saturday to this task. But you're saying 30 minutes, right. which is great. I can get behind that. Because, I mean, who's got a whole entire day? I mean, if you do, that's great, and it's an awesome thing to feel good and do your whole house in one day or in one shot. But let's just, like any task, if it's too big, break it down into digestible time. And you can do a really deep one in any room today we're going to think we're going to talk living rooms um, but in any room in that 30 minutes so the very first thing we're going to do is tackle up tidying up it's such a thing that's easy just to you know forget about and you let the things pile up that aren't in their spot in my case it could be murphy's toys if you've got kids you've got kids toys you've got electronics you've got random socks that, that people have uh, pulled off. So get all a power tidy up. If it doesn't have a home in that room, you throw it in a basket and you find a new home for it or rehome it out of your home completely. <laughs> I also have an absolute weakness, personally, for magazines. I love magazines. And Tracy, I know you're a bookworm. You absolutely mm -hmm. love your books. So we want to clean out all of the outdated magazines, we want books we've read that don't have sentimental value and we can rehome those or recycle them. Neither of those things should go into the trash. But we're going to put them into a basket as well and we're going to move them on from the room. I like the idea of a power tidy. It's like you can see into my living room because Eva always has just one sock, just one sock in between the cushions <laughs> on the sofa. So this kid's always walking around with one yeah. bare foot. And also with the books, yes, we are going to be buried under books if we don't find another place for them. So thank you for that. Also, now you've got yeah. surfaces that you can actually dust, right? Yes. And let's get dusting. So you want to start with dusting in your clean, uh, in your clean routine for a couple of reasons. Start high and then work low because as you dust, you'll have particles that are falling. So if I started dusting something at floor level and then dusted something up high, all that's going to re dirtify. Trademark Shona Jensen, not a real word. <laughs> um, <laughs> your floor, and then you gotta clean it again. So let's work smarter, not harder. And all you need is a good, clean microfiber cloth for dusting. You don't necessarily, unless it's a specialized task, you don't really need any product. And we want to make sure we get in all those nooks and crannies, whether it's your baseboards or trim or around your door frames, around your television. And then we want the specialized things. So one of the tricky things to dust and is often forgotten in the routine is your lampshade. And boy, those little devils collect so much dust. And the tool for that is a lint roller. It's so easy. All you do is run the lint roller around the top, up and down the sides and the dust completely comes off. You won't believe, actually, if you've never done it or haven't done it in a long time, you will not believe how much dust comes off of a lampshade, and it'll become a regular routine for you. Yeah, for sure. It's actually really gross when you see the dust that comes off the <laughs> lampshade. So, yeah, we shall all be doing it a little bit longer. I keep forgetting that beautiful piece of art is actually a TV. That's incredible. Uh, let's talk yeah. a little <laughs> bit about the drapes and the blinds because we don't talk often about that. How do we clean them? Again, another forgotten thing, but the deep clean is the time when you want to do that. Take them down. Get them cleaned. These are fabric. They're going to hold a ton of allergens or things that will create sensitivities to a lot of people. So you want to take them down and you either wash them yourself or send them to the cleaners, depending on what the fabrics are and the types of drapes they are, if they're the soft. If you've got those hard blinds, you want to actually clean those, like dust. We're dusting those, and if there's hard, stuck-on kind of dust, then you can pull out that cleaner and clean those hard blinds as well. We're deep cleaning everything here. The freshness that it feels once you've done your drapery, mm -hmm. if you've got it in the room, is amazing. It's got to feel like so much lighter. Okay, let's talk about deep cleaning yes. our sofas. How do we do that? Yeah, more textiles that we have to clean. So do you have slip covers? In our basement uh, sofa, we do have a slip cover, and it gives me so much joy to wash that slip cover. 
I know. I'm a big slipcover person too. It's so easy when you have lots of littles, again, whether it's kids or dogs. Um, so I recently discovered an Oxy Booster when I was washing my slipcovers, and it is nothing short of amazing what it does. This ottoman, totally by a fluke, I washed the top, and I didn't wash the bottom because the skirt is actually screwed into it. So I was just frankly being lazy. So I couldn't believe the difference between, look how white this is and how yellow this is. And it's not an age difference. It's just, I added that booster. So look for those kind of laundry products that are really gonna work hard for you. Again, I said it earlier, we're gonna work smarter, not harder. And we throw those in and wash them and put them back on. Just like the curtains, it freshens the whole room. Okay, that is a huge difference between the two. So thank you for showing us that. That's incredible. Okay, how about cleaning floors and deep cleaning those carpet shones? Yes, yes. We've just cleaned other things, and we've done with that dusting is we've put a lot of that dust down onto the floor now, right? Because we were smart, and we started from the top and worked to the bottom. So we want to give it a really good vacuum. Like, I mean really thorough on whatever floor it is you're working with, whether it's hardwood or tile or or wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, area, area rugs. Vacuum them extremely well. And, like, look at the settings on your vacuum. If you've got a carpet setting, make sure that carpet setting's on. Those settings are there for a reason. And really get it good and clean. But we want to take it up a notch. We want to go one step further, and we want to actually wash the carpets. And, like... I don't know about you, Tracy, but I'm just not big on renting carpet washers. Kind of grosses me out a little bit. Um, <laughs> and there's so many amazing ones that are on the market now that you can get at really reasonable um, price points. And so this one here that I've got, for example, is the Hoover Smart Wash Carpet Cleaner. And, you know, like Hoover products are available at all the Canadian tires, so they're really easy to get. But I think one of the misconceptions about carpet washers are that they're really hard to use. And they are absolutely not. This one, as you can see, looks like a vacuum. If you can use a vacuum, you can do this one. You can use this. And all you do is when you push forward, it washes your rug. And when you pull back, it dries the rug. And it sucks up all that dirty water. And uh, it's as easy as that. It stores in the same amount of space as a, as a vacuum would. So you're totally taken care of. But the extra thing that this one has that I really like is the um, ah. Spot Chaser Pre-Treat Wand. So if you have spots on your carpet that need a little extra love to be able to get them up, maybe it's an old uh, cereal bowl that had dropped or, <laughs> or a candy bar, <laughs> something like that that was hidden in a corner, you can use this guy, you shoot it, kind of feel like a stormtrooper when I'm holding it, <laughs> and then you can pre-treat it while you're doing the rest. So it'll just help bring up all those stains and all those soils for the deep clean that we're doing. But I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking out there like, well, I don't, don't really have space. I'm a small space dweller. I understand. I'm a girl who used to live in 600 square feet for years. I totally understand. So I haven't left you guys out, out in the cold when it comes to that. I've got a great solution for you as well. It's this little guy, and it's the Hoover Clean Slate Portable Deep Cleaner. And as you can see, it's really, really compact, super easy to store. But don't get me wrong. He can handle those tough jobs that are out there. But one of the things that I like, of course, it can do your rugs, it can do your area rugs, it can do your mats. But because it's got this handheld, it's also amazing for those of you that are out there that don't have slip covers, like Tracy and I, then you can do your sofa, you can do your upholstery. This would be really easy to take up a flight of stairs if you have um, rugs or runners on your stairs and really get all of those little different areas taken care of. I also like that this one is, because it's so little, you can stash it in the closet and as accidents happen or as mistakes happen or spills or whatever, this one's really quick just to pull out and take care of it right away. So when your deep cleaning does uh, come around, instead of taking 30 minutes, maybe you can take 25 minutes because your room isn't as bad as it would have been otherwise. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm on board. You're making this better and better every single time you talk about it. So 25 <laughs> minutes. Great tips. Thank you, Shoda. That was incredible. You know, we have an early holiday gift for our lucky viewers at home. So head to our contest page on CityLine.tv for a chance to win a Hoover Cleaner prize pack. It's valued at over $500. And our friends over at Hoover are giving away one of their Hoover Smart Wash Carpet Cleaners and the Clean Slate Portable Deep Cleaner to one lucky winner. Good luck to